look at this man here. This is uh, Edna Cherry that I ran into at the St. Pete Boxing Gym. I told you I'm always running into the great talent in St. Pete. Talk to me, Edna. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yes, ma'am. I want to give God the honor for, for giving me the opportunity for being here, you know, for the fight for uh, July 11th. Uh, it's great seeing you today and, you, you know, just getting prepared for this fight and, you know, being here today, you know, it's, it's the 4th of July, you know what I'm saying, I'm supposed to be home, but this is boxing, you know what I'm saying, we're we getting ready for this fight and there's, there's no holiday for us, so no. we, we had to be in the gym, you know, to get prepared. Because talk about how this affects you too, as a, as a local fighter to have premier boxing champions come to Tampa, Florida. You know everybody who's anybody is gonna is gonna be around uh, for this fight. So you know, talk about how, what this means for the city of Tampa and why you're supporting as a boxer. Oh man, it's great, man. You know, it, you know, PBS, P, PB. See's coming back um, just like before when when Winky and Jeff Lacey had fought here in, in Tampa, it was big. So now it's coming back in Tampa. It's exciting, you know, with Keith Thurman uh, being, you know, being the main event. Be, me uh, as me as being on the card also, we're very excited. And you know, with the people in Tampa, they they are very excited to be here also to watch the fight, and they can't wait till next week. Yep. Talk about your fight and uh, how you're preparing for it, who you're facing, and uh, how you're going to take him down. Uh, I'll be fighting uh, Luis Cruz. Um, our plan is to fight hard, hard 10 round. Um, we're not looking for the knockout. Uh, we're just going to prepare. We're just taking one round at a time, and, and we're not rushing anything. If the knockout comes, I'll be happy. But we're working hard, uh, working with Dan, showing me a lot of things, uh, watching Keith, and, you know, at the same time, I'm learning with, you know, from the champ. And, you know, every time he's sparring, I'm watching, you know, with the, um, with uh, Dan talk to me and uh, tell me things, teaching me, and it helping me out a lot. You know, since I came here uh, a year ago, man, it, my, my the boxing was terrible. Now, from here, now, it gotten bad. I could tell my boxing, um, um, uh, my boxing style. Yeah. Um, it's like uh, having a built-in university. We could just call this Boxer U, right? Because it's like a, having a college campus for boxers right here in St. Pete, Florida. Talk about how this is just a hotbed. How many champions have come out of here now? We're talking Jeff Lacey, Winky Wright. Um, I see Antonio Tarver come through the gym from time to time. Edna Cherry and now this superstar of Keith Thurman. What does it mean to have this nucleus of incredible oh, boxing man. talent and training? Awesome. Um we had so much world champion came from out of this gym, out of Tampa. We, you know, even with Nate Campbell, uh, Winky, Jeff Lacey, Keith Thurman, and you know, I'm next on the list to become a world champion. You know, uh, you know, uh, through my through my career, uh, I had a little minor titles, but I'm working on the world titles where I can wrap around my waist and you know become a world champion. And and it's great, man. Just 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 in this town, and you know, just in St. Pete. Tampa area, man, it's it just blown up with champions that came out of here, and it's then it's more to we come. We got Edna Cherry here. He's going to be fighting Luis Cruz. Um, Edna, tell me a little bit about your strategy for that night. You said you're not going to be looking for the knockout. If it comes, it comes. Yeah, but yeah. But you're just looking for a good hard fought textbook boxing night. Yeah, yes, man, because that's what I'm training for. If it come to that. If I have to stand ten round to fight, I'll be I'll, I'll be prepared because if I because if I put in my mind that I'm finna knock him out for one round, second round, that's all I'm gonna train for. So I'm trying to train for ten hard round. Then if it come to that, then I'll be okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be I'll be safe because by you know the work I put in, then I know in the late round he then. The only thing I would see, he just crumbled my hand. He just fall in my hand, and that's it. Either or he quit or he get knocked out, and that's it. Trademark of a Dan Birmingham fighter right here. You've heard it for yourself. They come confident, not cocky. They come prepared and ready for battle.